This visit is meant to update officials of the level of progress delivered by project contractors since the last assessment tool by the head of state in February last year. The 225-hectare European Union, EU Investment Bank and World Bank funded project brings 23 megawatts energy capacity being designated to improve electricity generation as NAVIC diversify into renewable energy to increase access to electricity. The Gambia's electricity supply system is predominantly fossil fuel based. So most, almost all the petroleum products we consume in the country, including the ones used for power generation, are imported. This is a big you know, drain on our foreign reserve. In order to change this thing, we, as a government, we're looking inward to utilize indigenous renewable energy resources, which is solar and wind. Solar accounts for only 2% of the country's electricity, but this project is expected to improve that capacity and overall operational performance of the country's water and electricity company, NAWIG, as part of government's electricity sector roadmap. This project is unique by itself in the sense that it is the first um, major, or I would say only power plant, uh, renewable power plant that we have in the Gambia, um, that is going to usher um, in renewable um, energy resources or energy into the um, existing power system we have in the country. Um, moreover, it's, as we all know, it's a clean, ecologically friendly um, way of generating power. And also it means a lot uh, to Nawek and to the people of the Gambia. The Gambia has committed ambitious plans in the near term, including President Barrow's desire to achieve universal electrical access by 2025, as well as a commitment to reduce CO2 emissions in line with the 2015 Paris Accords. Officials held the level of progress seen on the side. We are really impressed with the progress of work at the side. We were here some time back, but looking at what is um, prevailing today, it's like they have done a lot. They have really done a lot and we're really impressed. The solar component will include battery backups to minimize grid absorption concerns as highlighted by the project consultant who said the solar power plant would significantly boost the country's energy generation capacity. Here we are talking about first solar PV project in the Gambia which is executed for 12 months as per contract and which will be ready for inauguration ceremony on 9 March. In practice we have more than 40,000 solar PV panels which can produce at the best moments during sunny weather around 23 megawatts of the energy which we can send to the, to the NAVEC network. At the same time behind me you can see BSS, is battery energy system which is around 10 megawatts and which can help us during, let's say, cloudy weather or some interruption. The solar PV plant is one component of the Gambia Electricity Restoration and Modernization Project, which aims to explore new sources to generate electricity and sustainable energy. For GRTS News, this is Yero Jalo reporting.